8th edition of India Golf and Turf Expo held in New Delhi. Tourism in India is really robust and is growing strongly. But one of the critical engines for that can be golf tourism. Because when golfers come on tourism, they stay longer and they spend more. Whether you're a tourist who's coming for the express purpose of staying for a few days and playing only golf, or you're a tourist who is here and you would like to pick up a game of golf while you're here, I think India offers many opportunities. India is an uh, incredible kaleidoscope of destinations and experiences and golf has to be the same thing. So through the fairways, through golf, uh, visitors will be able to experience India and 70% of golf travellers are looking for a new place to go and, and India is still very much an undiscovered golf destination even though you have 230 golf courses. Pata India Chapter's first tourism masterclass to be held on May 15, 2019 at the Lay Meridian, New Delhi. It's uh, got, uh, you know, uh, promotions, it has events, it's got uh, new policies introduced by government for travel. So I think it's quite informative for uh, uh, airlines like us. I like to share it with uh, people, you know, who have not seen it. Something which people look forward to seeing every day. Karnataka Tourism to organize International Travel Expo in Bengaluru from August 25th to 27th. Kite in short and then Karnataka International Travel Expo as we call was uh, one of the long uh, demands of our uh, private stakeholders in tourism and this year we have planned two day uh, road show. Uh, it's mainly a B2B uh, meeting where 100 international buyers hosted buyers and 250 hosted domestic buyers would be coming to Bangalore and they will have B2B meetings with all our stakeholders and thereafter uh, we will take all these people for the FAM tours. A recent report by Fiki Yes Bank released at GITB states that Indian tourism sector is likely to grow at 6.7% per annum to reach 35 trillion rupees 